a simple way to create an idea for making more money, starting with nothing. I'm talking about starting with just what you know. Let's say you don't have a college degree, you don't have a lot of formal business experience, uh, whatever the case, any excuse you can come up with. There are a lot of people who come up with ideas for businesses and often become very profitable with them. It happens a lot more often than you think. So here's the deal. Here's a really, really good tip. People buy things they need and they also buy things they want. Obviously, we need certain things. We need food. We need water. There are necessities we need. But at the same time, we don't always buy what we need. Oftentimes, we buy what we want. Probably more often than buying what we need. Here's an example. A lot of Americans need to stop eating fast food so much because it's making their cholesterol go up and their blood pressure levels go up and their number of zeros on their medical bills go up. But you know what? Even though they need to stop eating all that crap, what do they do? Every single day going through the drive through spending their hard-earned money on stuff that's killing them. So even though they need to stop doing it, guess what? They're still spending money on it. Because why? Because they want it. All right, so think about what if people always ask you, how do you do that? Have you ever had somebody or a number of people ask you, you just kind of find people ask you, how do you do that? Or how do you do that certain thing? Are you really good at this? It's not that there's always a market opportunity there, but there can be. Because whenever people constantly ask you how you do something, they obviously want to know. All right. And if it's valuable enough to them, they'll pay you money for it. I mean, I, I go out and I give speeches and I charge, well, you know, a lot of money because I've been doing it for 10 years and I'm really good at it at this point, you know, better than I used to be at least. You know, I've given this, you know, these presentations several hundreds of times to hundreds of thousands of people. I've done this. I'm good at it. All right. Now it's information that people want because it can help them solve a problem. But yours doesn't even have to be that in depth. I know of people who, um, there's one one guy out there who teaches people how to do origami. This I forgot his name, but this dude, he goes around and he gets booked on cruise ships to teach the uh, the people on the cruise. He'll he'll do like three or four sessions the whole week of the cruise, where people on the cruise come in, and he teaches them how to little, make little like paper animals and stuff, and. He gets paid for it. He like cruises for free. I don't know how much he gets paid, but I know he cruises for free. How cool is that? Uh, I have a good buddy who is really good at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And in fact, he's not just my buddy. He's also my jiu-jitsu mentor. All right. He's the guy I train with. And he's really good at Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Well, guess what? I pay him money every single month to teach me Brazilian jiu-jitsu and how to become better at it. All right. Uh, another one. I have a buddy who was horribly injured in an explosion when he was manufacturing drugs when he was in high school. He was dealing drugs, he was doing drugs, bad situation. All right. Now, he's off those drugs, number one. And two, he goes and gives talks in high schools and youth organizations all over the United States and in Canada to keep kids off of drugs. People ask him all the time, how did you kick the drug habit? Well, you know what? He can tell you. If you want to look at my experience... Brian, how did you overcome your post-war injuries and move forward productively in life? I can talk about that. I'll talk about that all the time, especially with all the resilience training I do with the military all over the world, yellow ribbon programs and military bases and, and all these different events they have all right, for resilience training. It's just stuff I know. I'm just talking about my life. I'm just talking about things I know. All right, It's valuable to people. My wife, you know, she started baking cakes not long ago, and people started asking her, hey, how do you do those cakes? Can I get a cake from you? Hey, I've got this occasion. So, hey, she started baking cakes and selling them to people. All right, pretty cool. She has fun making a cake for an hour, hour and a half, and then makes, you know, $50, $60, $70. Not a bad gig. All right, um, if you're good at golf, give people golf lessons. If uh, you're good at an instrument, hey, give uh, people uh, lessons on that instrument. If you're good at photography or, you know, you've been doing it for a while, and somebody wants to learn about it, hey, charge them by the hour. Charge them a monthly retainer to meet with them once or twice or three times or whatever a month, all right? And just and teach them how to do that. Um, I have one buddy, he, he sells guitar equipment on Amazon, and he makes a killing. You've heard me talk about this guy before. 
It, it, I almost didn't believe it at first. If I didn't know the guy personally, I probably wouldn't have believed him. The guy makes a killing. He sells guitar equipment. All right? I mean, that isn't something you buy every week, like, you know, razors or toilet paper, you know, but the other guy got on there and he started doing stuff. It's awesome. He took what he knew stuff about and he started doing it. I have another buddy who sells hot sauce. All right? He has his own brand of hot sauce. And by the way, I, I've never been that big into hot sauce, but it's the only hot sauce I eat. All right? So, uh, yeah, Freedom Hot Sauce. Go check out freedomhotsauce.com. There's a little plug. You're welcome, Mark. It's the only stuff I eat. It's good. It's awesome. I just love it. All right? So he likes making hot sauce. He's a restaurant guy. He's owned restaurants. He cooks. All right? And so it's his own It's his own recipe. Um, again, the origami guy. What in the world's with that? Teaching people origami? Yeah, you can get paid for that. Crazy. I, I know. It's ridiculous. It, you know, makeup tips if you're a lady. You know, how to... Maybe how to put eyeshadow on so you can't, you know, you can fade two colors. I don't know. I'm not into that stuff. I'm a dude. All right. I guess some dudes are into that. Just not my kind of dudes that I hang out with. All right. But uh, to each his own. So anyway, hey, check it out. If you want more ideas about how you can make more money, do better in business, live more resilient, have a little more resilient life, do better for yourself, your family, because not just because you want to, but because it's your duty and your obligation to do so. Yeah, that's a card in my hand. It has some notes on it. Takebackyourlife.me. That's right. That's one of my programs online. So check me out at blowupyoursmallbusiness.com. If you want to start a business or you have a small business and you want to just do better, maybe you're trying to think of an idea or you're trying to market it better, but you don't really know how to talk about what you do in a way that gets people's attention. I have a free download on there. It teaches you how to speak your customer's language. It's free, all right? I spent thousands of dollars learning this stuff. It's free. It's a one-page strategy, one page with a few points on it, and then you fill in the blanks. It'll blow your socks off, all right? So go there to blowupyoursmallbusiness.com. Download that free one-page strategy on how to speak your customer's language, and that's going to teach you how to say what you do in a way that not only people understand what you do very clearly, but they understand the value that they get out of it that they're trying to get. They're trying to find that value somewhere and all of a sudden you can say it in a way where they connect with it and now they want what you have. It's amazing. And again, it's free. So go to blowupyoursmallbusiness.com.